What's going on guys and today we have yet another episode of the transfer rumor. I've no I've not posted this for like a week or so, but I will be back every day at eleven thirty AM to upload this. That is Great British time, eleven thirty AM. So make sure that you're there every day um for the best and the new transfer rumors that have came out. So we've got thirteen today, we're gonna go straight into them. Start off with Benashia, of course, of um now Juventus. He's went there on the loan. It has been confirmed. It's a great, great signing. You should see the defence Juventus have next season. They've got Evra, Alexandro, Berzagli, Chiellini, uh, Benucci, Benascia, um, Regani, they've got Danny Alves, Lichsteiner, they've got like so many good uh, players there and now Benascia has been added to that. I mean, I can see maybe Benucci um, being linked more heavily to Man City now that they've got another centre-back in, but um, I think it's a really good sign for Juventus. I think in general they always do get in centre-backs and they always, always perform. They never really get centre-backs that don't perform, um, so I'm sure Benascia will perform for them very, very well. We then go into Leroy Sané. Of course, this has been going on for a couple of weeks now. He's been linked heavily to Manchester City. Schalke have said they only want to accept £50 million, but Man City are saying they only want to bid roughly about £35 million. I think this guy's a very, very, very good young talent. Could be one of the best players in the world in the next maybe five, six years. Not too sure if he will be one of the best. I think he's got the potential to be the best. Um, but the thing I worry about is with the same what's happened with Sterling last season. The the price tag was too high. If Sterling didn't cost Man City fifty million, he probably would have performed a lot better than he actually had. I think there was a lot of pressure on him, and that is why he didn't perform as well as he could have. And I'm worrying that's going to be the same with Sani if he does sign for fifty million. Thirty five million though. Isn't that much nowadays in the transfer market, so hopefully we can sign him. We then go on to Matic, who has been linked um, to Juventus for £20 million. This um, is likely to happen now that Chelsea are just about to secure the Kante signing, which I'll talk about later in the video. Because of that, I feel like um, Matic won't have a bigger place. Of course, they've got Fabregas and Mikel. Will they want to keep Matic? Um, and Kante will be interesting to see. I think either Fabregas or Matic or Mikel will leave Chelsea this summer. I just don't know which one yet. Um, so it'll be interesting to see which one does leave. I think Kante is a quality, quality player. I think he's better than all the Chelsea midfielders have got at the moment. Uh, so yeah, I can see Matic maybe going to Juventus for 20 million. It's rumour rating of 6 there as well because I'm not too sure if it's going to happen. Zuniga is the next one. He has he has joined Watford on a loan deal, a year-long loan deal from Napoli. Transfer rooming, uh, rumour rating sorry, of 10 and a transfer rating of 10 as well. I think it's a very, very good signing. Uh, of course, he did play very, very well in the Serie A last season. Got a team of the season in FIFA as well, which is pretty cool. And in general, he's just a very, very good right back. I've used him in FIFA from years. There's always players in FIFA that you want to see in the BPL. Um, and the last player in FIFA, of course, that joined the BPL that I was excited about was a Barbo, who also was Colombian and went for Watford. And that didn't go too well. So hopefully this one can go a bit better and he can do very, very well at his new club, Watford, this season. Maybe even sign for them, we'll see at the end of the year. They've then got Schweinsteiger, who has been linked to PSG. Man United have came out today and said that um, if they do let him go, they'll have to pay him £14 million, obviously, as part of his contract. Um, if, he want, if, he, if they want him to leave, they'll have to pay him £14 million, basically, to sack him. Um, and that could happen. I mean, PSG could snap him up. He'd be very, very good in that midfield alongside like Verratti, Pastore, Rabiot, all those players. Uh, the price hasn't really been talked about yet. The rumour rating is, is only going to be a five because I don't know if Man United will want to pay £14 million to let go of him considering they only paid £6.5 million to sign him in the first place. They'll be losing quite a lot of money. Um, and also a transfer rating of seven. I think it'd be a good signing for PSG if they could pull it off, but I'm not too sure if they will. We then go into a very, very surprising one. Is Robin Van Persie um, <laughs> of Fenerbahce at the moment. It looks as if this deal could go through. He is linked really heavily to Middlesbrough for £4 million. A rating of 7 uh, as Fenerbahce have or have they released him? They have released him or are about to release him from his contract. And also a transfer rating of 9. I think this would be a very, very good transfer for Middlesbrough if they could pull it off. He's a very, very proven striker or proven striker in the Barclays Premier League. And if he could continue that form at Middlesbrough, it would be very, very good to see. And he could help them stay up, uh, potentially, so hopefully this can happen, and hopefully he can regain his form in the Premier League. We then go on to the first bronze player I believe I've done in this series, is it? I think it is. Um, it is going to be Varela of currently Man United, who has been linked to um, Eintracht Frankfurt, I believe you say it as. Um, no price has been kind of thrown about yet, it's just in the early stages. A rumour rating is only a four, um, because I don't, I can't really see this happening. I think the youth will want to stay at Man United, even though, you know, Jose Mourinho won't use him, because he 
never use the youth players, but he might want to stay anyway. Um, it might be a bit too early to sign for a different squad. Also, a transfer rating of seven. I think he'd do okay over there. I don't think he'd do anything amazing, um, but I think he would be a decent right back for them. We then go into. Um, Gonzalo Higuain, of course, this has been thrown about Liverpool, Real Madrid, Chelsea, even, I'm pretty sure, where, where Man City went to at him at one point, I'm not even too sure anymore, but he's been linked to basically everybody in the world, and it could potentially be this one that does go through it. As to Juventus for £80 million, pounds, it's interesting, it's a lot of money to spend on Higuain, who is getting older now, um, but he is a very, very good striker, Napoli are letting him go apparently for 80 million, a deal has been agreed, we have heard with Juventus, um, so it'll be interesting to see if it does happen, a room rating of 7, not too sure if it will happen, and a transfer rating of 10 would be a very good deal. We then go into Shaqiri, who has been linked with Borussia Dortmund, um, this one kind of came out of nowhere, if you think about it, it does make sense, so they have like gold Mkhitaryan, which means they do need a new right midfielder, Shakiri could fit in that perfectly. There hasn't been a price yet for this one either. A rumour rating of 5 because it could go either way. It could happen, it could not. I wouldn't be surprised either way. Um, and also a transfer rating of 9. I think this would be a very, very good deal for Dortmund. They normally bring in players that play very well and you can sell them on for more. Um, and this could be one of the same ones. It isn't the youngest though, Shaqiri. So I don't know if they'll sell them on after it. But they might just keep them, use them in the squad and help them to maybe even challenge Bayern for the title next season. We then go into Vieto of currently Atletico Madrid but about to be um, Barcelona. There has been, a great, I think there's been a f um, personal terms agreed between um, Vieto and Barcelona. All they need now is a fee um, between uh, Atletico Madrid and Barcelona. It's 20 million is the reported fee, 20 million euros that is, that's about 16 maybe 15 million pounds, 16, 17 million pounds, I don't know. Um, and also transfer, I'm going to give it a rumour rating of uh, 8 because I feel like it, it's likely to happen but it's not guaranteed to happen yet, so it's only going to be an 8. And a transfer rating of 7, and I think this would be a pretty good deal, but I don't know why they need them. I mean, they've got Suarez, like, why do you need Vieto? Anyway, we're going to go into Canteen. Now, he has basically been confirmed to go to Chelsea. This is a very, very sad deal, in my opinion. Um, I'm really annoyed. I wanted him to stay at Leicester or join Man City, because he's one of the best players in the Premier League. He's a quality, quality player. Any squad in the Premier League could do with him. And it looks as if he's going to join um, Chelsea for £32 million. It's an absolute bargain. I think he's worth at least 45 50 million. He's so good. Was Leicester's main player last season. People say Vardy Mahrez. No, it was all Kante. He was the main player in that squad and I rate him very, very highly. I rumour rating of 9 as he is just having his medical today and it could be confirmed in the next day or two and a tr uh, transfer rating of 10 as well because he is an amazing player and he'll do very, very well at any club he does go to. We then have John Stones of currently Everton. He has been linked very, 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 very heavily to Manchester City in the last few days. He's even said to Everton that he doesn't want to be a part of their squad next season. He wants to, he said he wants to move to Man City so it looks as if this deal could happen. The only problem is I don't know if Man City want to pay 50 odd million for him. It's the same with Sterling. He didn't perform after such a high price tag. What happened to Stones? I don't know. I think a defender's a bit different. Um, a different mindset and stuff, so it'll be interesting to see if we do assign him or not. A rumour rating of 9 and a transfer rating of 9, because I think a rumour rating of 9 is good because it looks as if it could happen. A transfer rating of 9, I think would be a very good sign and would work with Pep Guardiola's style of play. We then go into Jack Arini, who currently plays for Sunderland, but not for long, apparently, according to his agent. Napoli have apparently offered 1.2 million to Sunderland for um, the, the the small Italian and the rumour rating I'm going to give it is a 7. I think it's not too reliable because it's agents, the only one that said it. it hasn't came out of clubs or anything else, any newspapers or stuff I don't think yet so I'm not too sure if this will happen. Um, but then again when you think about it an agent is quite big in it so he could be a big um, thing to decide whether or not he will um, join them or not. Also a transfer rating of 8 I think it would be a very very good signing for um, Napoli if they did get him as he did do very well in the Euros and things like that. But anyway guys that's going to be the end of today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. There might be another video out tonight. I am going to the Celtic Roseburg game so I'm not too sure. Um, leave a like in the video guys if you have enjoyed it. 20 likes would be absolutely insane. Subscribe guys as well if you're new to the channel. And apart from that I'll see you guys next time.